So today we're doing a tutorial on how to make these stockings that are Mackenzie Child's Courtly Check inspired. I got these little wooden stockings from the dollar store and they come five in a pack for a dollar. So I already have one done to show you as an example, but we're going to paint both sides of them so when you hang it on the tree, both of them are painted. Now to make my lines on my stocking, I use masking tape or painter's tape to make sure that my lines are straight. These were so easy to do and super fast. I'm pretty sure I finished one in maybe 10 minutes. Okay, now we have our pencil lines. So before we start, I always like to put an X on the boxes that are going to be marked, uh, colored black because I have made a mistake before and had black on black. And when you do that, you completely ruin the whole project. So I always like to put X's for my black boxes first. Now I'm going to paint in my black boxes and I'm using an acrylic paint um, that's Mars Black. I'm going to try my best to have a perfect square, but I can go back and clean up the edges later if I get kind of messy, so it's not really a big problem. Okay, we're almost finished with our black squares. Then we're going to do the white squares and that's really when the McKinsey Child's inspired look comes into play, which is the whites with a little bit of the yellow and the blue ble bleeding through it. So for the white parts, I'm using the titanium white and I'm also using an ultramarine blue and a Naples yellow. And I only need a tiny little bit of the blue and yellow to mix in with the white. You'll see. It also helps if you have a really good paintbrush that's perfectly square and doesn't have a lot of frays hanging out on each side. If you do have a paintbrush that has frays, take a pair of scissors and cut off the fray So since I have not mastered the one stroke box yet, I'm going to fill in the white box with just the white first, and then I'm gonna make sure that all of my paint strokes are going horizontal before I add in the blue and the yellow. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is where our McKinsey Child's Inspired Look comes in. You see I'm barely getting a tiny dot of the yellow on my paintbrush mixed in with the white, and I'm just gonna drag it horizontally across the paint already there. So it kind of gives it like a small hint or a bleed through effect that's not too abrasive, just slight. Here's a tip. Be careful not to mix the yellow and the blue on your paintbrush at the same time because the color wheel will tell you that that will make green. If I feel like I might have too much of the color on my brush, sometimes I'll just mark it on my palette or I like to use paper plates for my paint palette uh, so I can throw them away easily. You can just wipe it on the plate and you can see what your smear or what your color is going to look like whenever you do drag it across. So you can kind of test it out there first. Or if you do get too much in one area, just get a little bit more white paint and go over top of it and it will blend it in. And there it just happened to me. I got a little too much, so I'm just gonna add some white paint on top of it and see it blends it in nicely. And just keep adding more white until you get it to where you want it to be. Okay, so next we are going to paint the top of the stocking red. I like to blend these two reds together. It's kind of a darker and a permanent red. I'm actually going to end up doing two coats of the red because I want it to be a really strong, solid red color. So we're going to do this first coat, we're going to put it down, let it dry for about 10-15 minutes, come back and we'll do another one. Okay, so next we're going to use our gym tack and we're going to glue some clear rhinestones onto the corners. I think this really adds a little extra to them. Thank you. 
now we're going to add our second coat of red to the top of the stocking to give it that crisp, bold red color. And congratulations, you are finished. This is an example of what it looks like uh, when both sides are painted, which we still have to do the other side uh, to this one, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea of it. You can add a little bow tie to hang on the tree or use a hook or whatever you like. And you can also add a bow to the front of it. I have one I'm gonna put on this one just as an example. Super cute. I hope you love it.